Okay, so once we've got our um, camera connected, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use the same video stream to um, input into OBS and then uh, transition between two captures from the same video card, so two different scenes using the same video input um, using this USB HDMI capture card. So the first thing that we want to do is, I've already got OBS running because I'm recording the screen, but um, you want to open up OBS, you won't get this message, this just because I'm running, running it already and capturing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a fresh fresh install or a fresh setup. So when you open OBS you will we need to create the first scene which is the feed from this camera. So the first thing you want to do is go onto scene one and you want to input your video capture source. So video capture device, this one here um, will show up as USB video device. So the other one was the webcam on the on the laptop, which isn't very good quality. I'm using a 4K camera, which is scaled down to 1080p because of the capture card, and then that's inputting into into here. So the first thing that you want to do is you can tell it that actually we're going to be using the standard um, standard settings for this. So I'm not going to uh, configure it uh, with any with any bespoke settings but if you wanted to you can do that here so you could come down to uh, change your device default to custom default you can then select your resolution which is 1080p because it's going through the capture card um, you can match the um, frames per second so this is capturing at 50 fps which is what the camera's outputting but you can you can if you wanted to change that you can select it to highest or 50 but we're using auto select because that's what the camera is outputting and then the video format you've got a choice between um, uh, mjpeg or yuy2 now this capture device likes yuy2 um, but again i'm not going to select any of that because i'm just going to accept the defaults and obs will pick up what uh, the camera card wants to use so i'm going to say go back to where we were here and I'm going to set this back to default setting and then say OK. So as you can see here we've now got the uh, the video capture device set up. Um, our audio is being picked up from the camera so you want to set your audio so that it doesn't go above 75% so you don't want to be peeking into the red because otherwise you get a huge amount of distortion in your voice. The reason I've got two channels here is because I'm outputting stereo, so left and right, and the right channel is obviously showing more because I'm standing to the right of the camera. So I'm just going to reduce that down a little bit further. Okay, so now we've got our scene. Um, what I'm going to do is transition it across. So this is effectively your output screen. So when you're streaming or when you're recording, um, this will this will. Um, be what your audience is watching or what your recording is is playing is recording so to get a different scene what we want to do is we want to create a new scene like that and we want to input the same video capture device so um, when you click on your video capture device it will automatically try and create a new one so we're not going to be doing that so we're going to select Add existing, we're going to highlight the video capture device that we've already got input, we're going to say OK. So there we've got a second scene exactly the same, I can click on the first scene, second scene there's no differentiator between the two of them. But in our scene 2, say for instance we just want to zoom in on, I don't know, uh, the laptop, so we can do that by cropping our image. So we're going to hold our Alt key down and we're going to drag up from the bottom, like that and we're going to crop in from the side oh, miss that one hold your alt key down again you can drag into there i'm going to do the top as well oh, alt key and drag down and then i'm going to do the left hand one alt key miss that one just drag that back out that 
actually just do the alt key one alt left click and drag in and now obviously what we can do is we want to uh, we want to zoom in on that so we can actually make this bigger uh, by zooming left click drag your image to uh, to the size you want you can oversize it of course if you want to zoom in even further and then you can just drag your image around till you're happy with it so what I'm going to do I'm going to just crop this back out so that it fills the whole screen there we go so now what we've got here is we've got our scene one over on the right hand side that's effectively broadcasting um, and then scene two which is what we've just cropped so if we want to cut between the two just click on cut as you can now see this is scene two and this one over here is scene one we can go back to scene one again just by cutting and you can see you can now flip between the two different scenes so it's a really useful tool if you've got um, an audience of people you've got people say you've got three people sat in front of you you can have a zoomed out image and then you can crop in onto those three people and then transition between the different scenes uh, it's a really good piece of functionality in OBS uh, and um, we wanted to run through that with you today so that's all there is to it um, so create your first scene um, with whatever scene you want using the video capture device create a second scene again using the same video capture device but then you can crop in and maximize so effectively you get a zoomed in image um, you want to make sure that you adjust your microphone levels so that you don't um, uh, distort the audio and in terms of uh, functionality you can go on and create whatever you want to do if you want to just do you can put a background on here and, and crop that out we'll do that in, to, in another video to show you how you can tart up your uh, your streaming and your presentations um, if you found that video useful give it a thumbs up and it'd be great if you could subscribe to the channel as well um, every little helps as they say um, especially in this times of the pandemic you know everybody needs to be helping each other out so we hope you found the video useful and um, if you've got any questions just leave us a comment in the description below thanks for watching